I'm wearing my big blue cardo because it's freezing in my garage, which is where I do all my videos. But anyway, let's get on with it. This video is about, a, I'm not gonna say what it is just yet, you'll see, but I brought this particular thing off a website called Sendico. Here it is, the box, yeah. I brought it off Sendico, which is, I won't get into the ins and outs, but it's a, a website where you can bid on Japanese auctions. And a long story short, you can buy things for pretty damn cheap. Um, this guy, Mr. Elliot Cole, 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 Coyle, I have no idea. Retro Future, that's how I know him. He kind of made me really want to do this because if you've never checked him out or seen any of his videos, which you haven't, I'm disappointed, really. Yeah. Well, either way, he does a lot of, um, he, he's very much into, like, almost gave it away there. He's into particular devices and he gets them from these um, auctions because in Japan they have a lot of things that have never released in the Western market. Check him out, he's brilliant, the Retro Future, he does a lot of stuff, he's even done stuff for Mr. Beast. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Transition! Right then, I have taken all the necessary information off the front because the paper keeps moving around where I did all the, the pen marks while well, it just kept coming off. But anyway, time to open it. And where else would we be without... Damn it, a trusty samurai sword. Let's do this. I mean, it, it, it's fitting, really. A Japanese uh, auction with a Japanese sword. So, you can go to one side. Are you ready? Are you ready to see what it is? So, that's what's in there. Oh, well, I'm slightly nervous of what I've brought, actually. Because this doesn't look like what I brought. <laughs> ah, come on. Oh, no, 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 okay, so what have we got here? Let's have a look. Knife time! Where's the sellotape top? And I have to give credit, the um, uh, well, the other thing that Sendico do, I believe, is basically when you win something, they'll send it straight to you. But it goes like, for instance, if I was selling something on it, it, I would send it to them and they would wrap it all up and everything and send it to me. So if you brought multiple items from different auctions, they will bag it all together. So, if you can figure out, is it going to focus for me? Probably not. But anyway, if you can figure out what that is, you might have already guessed. Oh, it's an official one as well. Nice. Okay, so it is what I thought it was. It was just the way they've packed it. It's a, it's a Game Boy SP. Now, the reason why I brought this was because, well, I've got a DS, a 3DS, a new 3DS, even though they're not new anymore. And I've, Definitely not done anything to be able to play games on it that I shouldn't be able to play. I'm excited to miss my uh, my Game Boy. That's a spongy uh, bun. But, you know, I thought, let's buy a new one. So, like I said, this cost about 30 quid. Um, about £10. Like, if you add that on the £10 for the post, it's like 40 quid, which is cheaper than what you can get them for, especially in places like um, CEX. But this is the Game Boy. Now, I don't know how well it's picking it up, but there are scratches on the top you can't feel them but there's definitely scratches there the sides look okay i noticed that the right button is a bit springy i'm not saying that they're both the same really let's have a look at the slot there how much wears it seen i mean you can see little groove marks there but overall it doesn't look too bad ports look nice and clean still got the uh, rubber stoppers to be fair i think they've cleaned this up because in the advertisement it didn't look this clean Moment of truth, let's hire up some volume. It works. But the thing to do is try again. Give me a second. Okay, I have Advance Wars. It's not going to pick it up, is it? I've got Advance Wars for the Game Boy Advance. I've got WWF Betrayal for Color. I've got Nigel Mansell. What is it? Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing for the Game Boy. And. 
I found my uh, Pokemon Ruby, but it doesn't have the normal back in. Not Ruby, Emerald. So, uh, oh, and, and it's slightly opened. So that'll be interesting to see what works. So naturally, let's try the Game Boy Advance game. Okay, so we got the Nintendo sign. It's always good. I can't see. <laughs> Yep, the light's working. Now this is the one with the front light, not the back light. Well, I'm happy with that. And um, I've, I've been trying to... The, the, the idea is behind this is to basically mod it. Let's try the old Game Boy games. I want to mod it so I can have a back light rather than the front light. We've run out of power. Ah. <laughs> oh. Will we ever find out what's on this? Will we ever find out? Oh, it works now, doesn't it? Let's quickly try this one. Oh, I don't want to try that one. Oh, God. We, we won't try that one. That one does not seem to want to... Uh... That one works. Oh, good God. I'm going to go with it works. <laughs> I mean, overall, that is not bad. No, I have the um, adapter as well, so I can plug the headphones in. Anyway, next transition of the overview. Let's conclude, or... Yeah, let's conclude this video. So, this was my... Why do I look like I've got... Uh, my finger looks like it's missing. So, this is actually in better condition than the picture portray. I guess it's just because of the lighting they use. So it was highlighting everything, but there is some scratching on there definitely wear on the back and on the inside it's actually really clean don't know how well that's coming up so I can't complain I've, I've not seen one in green either so that was quite nice the one I had was the something like the arctic pearl blue or something like that um, quite chuffed that it came with an actual licensed Nintendo charger though I am going to have to buy an adapter charger or whatever but I'm going to have to get the pins for it because obviously over in Britain we don't use that. We have three. But yeah, the buttons feel good. I'll charge it up, have a play. Just wanted to try and get this video out there. Um, the screen's in really good nick. Nothing looks like it's gone. I mean, this looks like, actually, I don't know if you can see it. Around the D-pad especially, you can see like a ring around it. So I reckon this has had some sort of like sticker skin thing on it. You know, like when you... You cover it up with a, a sticker to make it look cool. I used to do that. Oh. You used to get the GameStar. Is it GameStar? You used to get them in Poundland. The um, like little accessories for your Game Boy. Oh, it's brilliant. But yeah, overall, I am not. I am not complaining about that. It's in way better condition than I thought it was. Everything looks to be in order. It's got the tri screw things in it, proper Nintendo style. You know what? Just holding this is just brilliant. I absolutely love holding This is genius. I don't think I've been this excited or happy to hold a console, like, ever. I kind of regret getting rid of mine, but at the same time I wasn't using it and it was just moving house. Just kind of needed to be gone. But this one, like, everything feels good. I can't wait to play, really. But yeah, not a very informative video. I'm, I'm no console connoisseur, is that the word? But yeah, I just wanted to share with you something I brought, which is this absolute beautiful metallic green S SP <laughs> so thank you for watching and I'll see you soon because we have some more things to unbox I've actually got this now this is going to go against this bad boy but until next time I'll see you soon thank you very much um, yeah have a good one guys stay safe have fun and after scrolling through TikTok I saw a picture of Wally, -E, the, the film about the small robot, and it was where the captain's flying the, the ship, and it's I don't want to, what was it? I don't want to survive, I want to live. So guys, don't forget to live. That's as much kind of like philosophical encouragement I can give. Anyway, night night. I'll see you soon. Bye.